been created free of charge as a labour of love by the artist to welcome visitors to the Isle of Sheppey. But a huge new mural of a mermaid with the caption, Welcome to Sheerness, you'll have a blast, is dividing opinion in the town. And that's because the mermaid has a rather disgruntled expression and her hand resting on a TNT detonator. Jane Witherspoon is in Sheerness for us now. Uh, Jane, I think it's fair to say it is a big artistic statement. Well, it is pretty big. If I move away from the mural, you might get a sense of just how big it actually is. 18 foot by 40 foot. Now, Christopher Columbus first reported seeing mermaids when he was discovering the Caribbean. But if you're having a staycation here in Kent this summer, look no further than sheer nest for your mermaid fix. But this one, it's causing a bit of controversy. As far as poster girls go, she's definitely turning heads. Some residents have fallen for this 40-foot mermaid, hook, line and sinker, but others are in a bit of a flap. You know, is a children's play area the place to make a political statement? I don't think it is. Is it better than a blank wall? Um, I'd certainly donate the paint to paint over it. <laughs> um, I'd say no, but as they say, art is subjective. It's the work of artist Dean Tweedy and depicts a mermaid holding a detonator rigged up to the SS Montgomery. The American cargo ship sunk off the coast here in 1944, packed with 1,400 tonnes of explosives. It still lies just two miles off the coast. Local girl Carrie Stacy agreed to pose for the giant artwork. It was a labour of love for the artist who created it to celebrate the town's arts festival passers-by were divided today. They've updated uh, the graphical culture and arts in the area. It's better than the general graffiti we get around here. So I'm glad that someone's come along and drawn something that's worth more than graffiti. A bit unfair, really, because Sheerness is all right. She looks a bit miserable, doesn't she? I mean, oh, TNT. Oh, the Montgomery, that's the ship out on the uh, thing. An art row blown up out of proportion? We leave it to you to decide. Well, I'm joined by Dean Tweedy, the artist. Now, Dean, thank you for joining us tonight. What do you make of the controversy surrounding this? Well, I, I think it's good to have a reaction, to be honest. It's, um, it, this is something I've wanted to paint for, for quite a while. And when I heard the theme for Promenade this year was mermaids, I thought this is an ideal chance to, chance to do something for the community. And um, I'm, I, it's something I'm quite proud of. Um, it took me three days to paint, and I had such a good time painting it. Obviously, art is subjective. Do you think you're always going to get people who are against it and some people that do like it? You, you'll always get some people that don't like what you do, but the vast majority of people I've spoke to love it and have, have given me great comments. Now, it was a real labour of love for you as well. Am I right in thinking it took about three days? Tell me about the process. Um, well, it's, it's, I started at the top and, and worked downwards, basically. <laughs> it's quite, it builds up in layers so people get to see it as, as it evolves and, and they come back day after day to, to watch the progress. Well, I don't think it's going anywhere for the foreseeable future. We hope not anyway. Back to you. Uh, Jane, thank you. Good insight into the artistic yeah, I mind. I started there. at the top and, and worked, worked down. down. Excellent.